Coach, just uh, through however many days we're at now, 11, I think, what's uh, yeah. your overall impression of the offensive line? Yeah, I'm pleased with them, man. They're a group that from spring ball to now, you see the consistent improvement with them. You know, they come out here with a mindset. I'm not really having to coach effort. And I think with offensive line, if you're having to coach effort, that means the culture is sustained within the group. You know, it's more fundamentals and technique, but I'm pleased with them right now. I think we still got a long ways to go, but for the first initial halfway through practice, I thought we did some good things in the spring game, uh, spring game, sorry, in the scrimmage. And, um, you know, you, you can see that it's a group that wants to put the program on their shoulders. So I'm pleased with that right now. Jake mentioned yesterday that Levy might be out week one, but it kind of seems like you have kind of that five that you're planning on going with with Rod at left guard and, and Christian slotting over to right tackle. What do you think that says to kind of the depth you guys have to where you can plug in five guys now that started or four guys that started games plus a guy like Devin who's been here five years and not necessarily miss a beat? Yeah, I think it shows that you know what you've done in recruiting, what you've done to build an O-line room is starting to kind of show a little bit, right? And having the depth, you've got guys where now, if they don't get it done, you've got guys behind yourselves that have grown in the program, that have grown in the weight room. But you've got guys that played a lot of football. I mean, you look at it and you've got guys that have started. You know, Kalani's a guy that has been here in this program that would fall on the sword for this university, and he's great addition in there. And But, no, you can tell that the room is gelling, not just those five, but the all of them together so it's good to see them kind of work through some things you know I think as an offensive line you've got to have you know some consistency with it but I, I'm pleased where we're at right now with that we saw a little bit of young on young out here we've seen that a few times during uh during the fall one or two guys of the young group who's really standing out to you right now man I, I tell you what you've got guys that are coming in here and competing their butts off you know Xavier's done a really good job you know, playing hard, playing through the whistle. You know, he's one guy that you kind of see is like, man, he's a true old lineman. You know, you've got Carson that, that, that that's playing hard, and you've got Chris that's doing some good things. But I, I think with this young group, they're smart. You know, they've, they've got a high football IQ, and they're learning how to play hard. You kind of got to take the floaties off a little bit and just kind of get, you know, engulfed with the flames sometimes. But, you know, I, I am. Again, that's another group that I'm really pleased with to see them kind of develop and, and embrace the role that they're in. With Christian over at right tackle, he's more of a guard just, you know, historically. What have you kind of made of him playing tackle, you know, the last few practices? Yeah, he, he's embraced it. You know, he did play some tackle last year, you know, and he's a guy that can move inside and outside. You know, being with his athleticism and how smart he is, he's capable of doing that. And he's somebody that's kind of embraced that role that we needed there for him. And, you know, he's kind of embellished in it and, and done a really good job so far. Uh, with uh, Devin at center, um, is he like how much of a leader has he kind of grown into? And um, you know, he's. I mean, when we, when we talk to him here, he's a very you know vocal and yeah. ha happy to chat. Is that kind of the way he is you know, in practices? No question. I always say your center on a football team is your quarterback on the offensive line, right? And that guy's got to be the glue. Okay, he's got to be. He's got to make all the calls. He's got to tell everybody what to do. He's got to know everybody, their job, and what techniques they have. And Devin has done a phenomenal job of embracing that. All those centers have, but Kalani's done a great job of embracing the leadership role for that position and really kind of taking and being the spear in that room with that. And, it, and you're kind of seeing, you know, the growth from him in spring, embracing it and taking it in that leadership role. But the kid strains. He plays hard. He, he would do anything for this university, and that's a great – having a kid like that with that mindset and playing center, that's kind of what you want at that position. Devin uh, joined us for a little post-media scrum yesterday and asked yeah. Brock what it felt like to be the smartest offensive lineman on the team. <laughs> Brock, of course, uh, answered very humbly and said, yeah. oh, we're all very smart. Yeah. Who's the smartest offensive lineman on the team? <laughs> In what realm? That's the thing. Well, let's go general knowledge. General knowledge, Brock do. Brock do? I, I sometimes, you know – have to refrain myself from asking a question sometimes in the meeting room because I know I'm going to get a dissertation, right? <laughs> whether it's biomechanics, whether it's some kind of – whatever it may be in a technique, I'm going to get a dissertation out of that. But Brock Dew by far is the smartest kid we have in there when it comes to just general knowledge and what we do. He, he sometimes, you know, makes you question if you're smart in a fifth grader at times. <laughs> you know, he really does. But – 